This video shows how to prevent a WordPress DDoS attack on your uh, internet server. So first I'm going to switch to my, uh, <clears throat> what you see here is my first uh, internet server and I had a DDoS attack there and I had to do this uh, WordPress, uh, I had protect against WordPress. Now I switch to my new uh, brand new uh, web server and I will include it there so we first go to our uh, server that's the server uh, the internet information server you start it by um, normally by a link and when you're there or you start it here sometimes here over your uh, server manager but it's better than when you start it by the by the straight link in your uh, all apps it's a Windows Server 2012 uh, R2, and um, now when you're there, you go, you switch on your uh, server. That's the base server. That's a default, the default site, and then you go to a URL rewrite. Where is it? HTTP uh, rewrite. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. Rewrite. No. Let's see. So we do the right thing. URL rewrite. It's the English side. Maybe that's better. That's the English side. You go to URL rewrite. Let's do it like there. And then you say add a new rule. Request blocking. And then we say uh, the that's the URL which is coming uh, in. So uh, take take all sites, all URLs are allowed and abort by the request and there should be whenever there's a, a pattern in there which is called uh, WordPress WordPress and this one should stop and yeah. now this is the new rule and you see there is a all all URLs which are coming are all questions um, with ignore the case when there is a the string WordPress in the pattern then it should stop and the request should be aborted so this is when you have uh, let's say here <coughs> I had it here in my log files And when I was attacked there, here like this one, then there was sometimes the big word, oh, not then here. Let's take this one. Maybe we can show it here. These are attacks by um, a DDoS attack, and there's also there was also one a similar small attack now let's take this one the first one here it should also be a wordpress wordpress oh not here as i as you see i had two attacks there this is a, a common DDoS attack, which I also wrote wrote uh, protection there, but it, it didn't didn't work with uh, the this one didn't work with once again back file. Whenever you have a problem, you see this one how the size grew up. This was a terrible day for me. Uh, unfortunately, I can't show you at the moment, but you will find that one one simple protection, uh, one simple DDoS attack. Oh, terrible! This is a terrible stuff. Um, one simple stuff which is coming in is that there is. Um, uh, vulnerated 
um, WordPress scripts which attack your server and then you have to do this one and you have to write in WordPress there and then this WordPress stuff stops. And in a further uh, video I will show you how to stop the big block which you have seen there because I couldn't do this. Uh, it's an empty header and I couldn't do it on this point. You have to do, I had to do this uh, by, by a small script in my website code. Ah, why not? Let's show, let's show it on there too. Once again, because all people say uh, on all forums, I saw, saw a lot of stuff which said, okay, empty agent. And empty agent is written like this. Uh, HTTP user agent does not match the pattern uh, star. So this should be one solution or it's sometimes written with this one uh, dollar, no, this one dollar 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 but whatever I saw in um, in whatever I tried what the forums said there uh, nothing like this happened like this one so now it's overtake it but this one all didn't happen didn't work whenever you do something like this then you have to do better work you have to do it in you have to script it in your uh, site master and there in the site master when you're there there you have the full uh, possibility of uh, access on your uh, site and here is here it is <coughs> when your header is empty then response end that's uh, this solved all my problems uh, when they attacked me so that massive I hope I you could help you on this point because when you're attacked by some machines like that then you will take and you should implement this small code in your website or ask me